it's absolutely critical that you apply a fertilizer designed for fish ponds. Fish pond fertilizer has a high amount of phosphorus, which is typically the nutrient that's lacking in ponds, especially in the southeast. There are three basic forms of fish pond fertilizer. There's granular, a couple different types here. There's water soluble. And there's liquid. Each form of fish pond fertilizer can be very effective, but it's very important that you follow the instructions provided with the product to make sure you're applying it correctly. When applying granular fertilizer, it is important that the product is applied 12 to 18 inches below the surface and that it does not touch the pond bottom where it is less effective. This can be done in several ways, but the most efficient approach is to construct an underwater platform where the fertilizer can be placed. Platforms are especially useful in ponds 10 acres or larger, but may also be used in smaller ponds. The fertilizer should be poured directly onto a submerged platform, which allows the wave action in the pond to slowly dissolve the fertilizer so it can disperse throughout the water column. One platform is adequate to fertilize 25 surface acres of water. A nine foot square platform will hold the fertilizer needed for a three acre pond. In larger ponds, provide three and a half square feet of platform for each surface acre of water greater than three acres. The platform should be placed in the upper end of the pond, about 10 to 15 feet from the bank, where the wave action will provide good distribution of the dissolved nutrients. A walkway should lead from the bank to the platform or the platform may be installed beneath the fishing pier. The floor of the platform should be 12 to 18 inches under the water and should be adjustable to allow for water level fluctuation. Granular fertilizer may also be applied by placing bags in water two to three feet deep along the shoreline in the upper end of the pond. The bag should be laid down flat and the top side should be removed. A layer of the bag should remain between the fertilizer and the pond bottom. Another method is to pour the material in a shallow tub along the shoreline. This allows you to move the fertilizer if the water level fluctuates. The shoreline method is similar to the platform in principle, but may not be as efficient. The application rate of granular fertilizer depends on the nutrient analysis, but the most common form, 20-20-5, is applied at 40 pounds per acre. There may be times when you can use phosphate fertilizer. Ponds that have been properly fertilized five or more years with a product containing both nitrogen and phosphorus may be fertilized adequately at about one-third the normal cost by using 40 pounds of superphosphate or 18 pounds of triple superphosphate per acre per application. A fertilizer containing both nitrogen and phosphorus should be used for the first two applications each year. After that, try using only phosphate for the remainder of the year. If phosphate fertilizer does not maintain a desirable growth of plankton, then revert to the use of one that also has nitrogen. Just like granular fertilizer, liquid fertilizer should not be poured directly into the pond. It is heavier than water and will sink to the bottom before it can go into solution. Liquid fertilizer should be diluted 10 to 1 before it is applied. For smaller ponds, less than two acres, it can be sprayed or broadcasted around the edge of the pond. For larger ponds, it should be applied by boat, by siphoning or pumping from a container into the prop wash of an outboard or electric motor. The standard application rate for most liquid fertilizers range from one half to one gallon per acre. For large lakes, liquid fertilizer is often delivered in bulk and stored in large containers at the edge of the pond. Powdered fertilizer is highly concentrated and very soluble in water. Therefore, smaller quantities are needed. The standard application rate for most powdered fertilizers range from four to eight pounds per acre. 
For ponds less than two acres, it can be broadcasted from the shoreline. For larger ponds, it should be applied from a boat and trickled into the prop wash of an outboard or trolling motor. Because it is very soluble in water, it will often stimulate a phytoplankton bloom quicker than other fertilizers. However, it may require more frequent applications to maintain the desired water visibility. Regardless of the form of fertilizer you choose to use, it is imperative that you apply it based on water visibility and at a rate that's printed on the bag.